Hello everyone, this is Alex from alexlancer.com and in this PHP tutorial I would like to show you how you can hide the real paths of your images from your HTML code. This will help you hide your uploads folder paths and also images file names from users in case you don't want to disclose it. So let's take a closer look at what I mean by inspecting one of our images. So let's click on the middle one. And as you can see, there is no actual, actual folders, uh, folder path as you would normally use. Instead, we have a PHP file, image.php, that handles the image and displays it. So let's get started. I have created a new folder inside of my XAMPP installation. And now I want to open my Atom code editor with this folder and inside of this folder I will go and create my first index.php file. Also let's create one more file img.php. This will be the file that will handle our, our images and of course let's create our upload directory. Let's say assets images yeah like that so I also have some images for this example you can use your own images so let me just open this folder here and paste them inside Cool. So now we have our images and two files that we will need for this project. Let's get started with index.php. Let's create a basic HTML markup. Let's create a P open PHP tag here. Let's create our images array. Of course, in in a real project, this would be images taken from a database, but an array will also do the trick. So what you want to consider when you are planning to hide your image paths, you will have to add one more field to your database. So let's say, for example, if you if your database, if you have um, a blog post table, so this blog post table will look like, let's say table, it will have the following fields. Let's say you have post ID, post title, post description, post image, which will be the, the file name for this post. And also consider adding a post post image hash. So how you will create this hash is totally up to you. Usually what I do in my projects, I take the post image file and convert it to MD5 string. So after that using this MD5 string, I can locate the actual post image name for, for the reference that we will be using in image.php as a source file from where we will get our, our actual image. So let's say you grab the post, post images from your database. We will represent these images in this array. Let's say this is your hash name and the image, the actual image name is img1.jpg. So the file names are real, the ones that I have put it inside of my images folder. Let's copy this. This will be image two. This will be image three. This will have 
image 2 will have a different hash name image 3 will have also a different hash name and now what we want to do is we want to run a for each loop of our images where we will display our image source as img img path img.php and let's give a get variable here of our hash that will be the key so here we have let's play let's uh, type it like that okay let's create really fast some let's add some css here so style let's say body margin margin come on margin zero padding also zero font family let's say Arial let's give a wrapper with 1000 pixel margin margin zero auto to center it let's create also images wrapper that will be display flex create an image image holder class that will be flex one and text align center also let's create an h1 tag margin top 30 pixels okay here let's add one more rule image holder img max width 100 percent and one more class center that will be text align center just so that our html looks a bit better from the default styling so now here let's go div wrapper let's create an h1 tag with a class of center and let's say that this will be hide real image paths let's give some space okay so wrap yeah let's put this closing div just above the closing tag body tag also let's wrap this for each loop inside our div class images wrapper and let's wrap each image inside of its own wrapper that will be div class img holder so that's it yeah our index.php file is done so now let's take this part here so as i told this is our database for this example let's go again let's go to image.php open a php tag paste our images inside So what we will do here first of all 
we will get our hash string file hash equals get h. So this is our variable from the URL. Now the file name would be images file hash. So in, in the actual project you would use this file hash to search your to search your to query your database so that you can find the real file name from the database. Now let's say image image path equals assets images. Don't worry, we will not use this actual path to display the image. File name. And now we have to grab also an extension from the file name. So let's say extension, extension. Now follow me here. So let's first of all, let's say string, string to lower. No, we don't need MB, just string to lower. Now, substring. And inside here, str, r, c, h, r. So inside here, add your file name dot. And outside of strrchr, add the offset of 1. So what this will do, it will grab the extension, the file extension of our, of our file. So, so that we know if it is a PNG image, GIF or a JPG. Now let's create a switch statement where we will check our file extension and provide the content type that we need for our file that we will create. So in the first case, let's say if it's a GIF, then C type, C type for content type will be equal to image.gif and break. So let's copy this few times. So we need one for PNG, we need one for JPG and even SVG file. So what we do here is let's say the second one is PNG This one will be JPG, JPEG, be careful here. So, and of course, we have to add one more case here for the JPEG. So, for SVG, you would create a content type of image SVG plus XML. This is how you declare it. And now, the only thing you have to do the, the, the only two things, two lines of code that we need to write here is header, let's say content, content type of C type and read file image. Remember this image variable that we created here right here. So that's it for our img.img.php file also. So let's check what we've got. Let's navigate to our project localhost image path index.php and here you go. As you can see, if you inspect the image, you don't get the real path and the real name of the file that we are that we are loading
So guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for your time and see you in next video.